Welcome to Greenwood Bonsai Studio here in Nottingham. I've just done a little video about pruning this uh, Chinese juniper uh, that we've just released. And uh, at the end of that video, I mentioned that we're going to put some lime sulfur on this deadwood. This particular tree has got quite a lot of shari or deadwood here, look, where the bark's been stripped off intentionally and it gives you this fissure of deadwood here. It comes around up the trunk here and it comes up and even extends down this branch, this one, up the trunk into here. And if we turn this tree around, you can see there's also a section of it here, another ribbon of it here that comes up the back of the tree, snakes up the back of the tree into this sort of area. So normally with this sort of deadwood, over time it will naturally fade it might get a bit of green algae on it so to preserve it and to make it look more dramatic one of the techniques that people use in bonsai is to paint it with lime sulfur so lime sulfur is this sort of lime sulfur solution um, some people make it themselves it does smell quite a bit or they import it from japan or whatever it can also be used as a winter wash if you dilute it to one part lime sulfur to 20 parts water it's used as a winter wash on a few trees, um, particularly on uh, Japanese white beech and uh, some aces. When you import them from Japan, they tend to be quite pale and it's usually because they've been treated with lime sulfur. But today, what we're gonna use this for, we're gonna use this neat and it's best to be applied to moistened wood, uh, painted on with a brush. And here, this wood is a little bit moist, so I think it's a good opportunity to do it. What's it going to do? It's going to mainly make this appear whiter and more bleached. So like a piece of deadwood that you might find on a beach where it's had salt spray on it, it's been washed up in, in, from the ocean and it's been bleached by the sun and it gives an aged appearance to deadwood. It's a bit personal taste as to how white you would like your deadwood to be. Um, I don't like it to be, personally I don't like it to be too stark uh, it can it can go a bit too far and look a bit a bit unnatural for my for my personal eye um, But this tree it does deserve to have a bit of contrast to show it up a little bit more So we're gonna put one coat of this on and it doesn't instantly go white when we first put it on It'll just kind of go yellow and it won't look Dramatically different, but we're gonna come back and show you this tree tomorrow at the end of the video and you'll see what's happened so without much of ado that's the stuff lime sulfur and i tend to apply it by using uh, just a long brush i just buy these cheap paint brushes and uh, i wash them out a bit and then when they've had it i just throw them away and get a new one so it gives you the reach to get into trees like this you can't put it on with a short brush you'll be making life difficult for yourself so i bought some lime sulfur like i say it smells a bit it's not the best stuff to have around should be putting it on either outside or in a well ventilated space if you've got your tree on the kitchen table and you start putting lime sulfur on it it won't make you flavor of the month yeah because it really does smell i think most people into bonsai use lime sulfur kind of get used to it over time but i tend to pour it into a little beaker or something i'm careful not to get any really around the tree just get it where you need it to be so just start painting it on like this and get a good even coat of it on the tree don't put it don't be don't want to put it on too thick because if it all starts running you don't want it to run down all over the bark and everything you don't want it to to get to where you don't want it to be so just a nice steady even coat would be the way to go when you're applying it and so if you have to use a a smaller brush for more intricate sections then have a have a smaller brush on hand so that's that that's that section there done and then we've got got this piece here to do coming up between that bit of bark so we can just about manage that with this brush and on the 
this section here. So don't don't wash it. Just do it nice and steady for best results. And on this section here, so you just get a good a good covering of it. Well, that gets a bit thinner. We'll just go down to more delicate brush to get it down to that tip. Just in there. Same with this section just here. Just finish it into there. This bit here. Sometimes put two coats on, but I'm just going to put one coat on this. Always put one on and just see how it goes. Give it, put one coat on, give it a few days and see how white you want that to be you know because it might surprise you I've had customers that they they buy a, a bottle of it from us and they, they put one coat two coats three coats and you end up with a tree where you can see the you can see the dead wood from quite some distance away and it becomes a bit too oppressive then and it's too obvious it distracts from the from the beauty and from the rest of the tree so but any of these gins, protruding areas of dead wood, pop some on there. Mm -hmm. So we've put the first coat of lime sulphur on just literally just a few minutes ago. You can see as it's starting to dry here, it's already going white, giving us the contrast we need. But it won't go fully white for a little while yet so we'll leave it like that for now and we'll come back and show it you uh, once it's fully gone okay so we're back in the studio with this uh, Chinese juniper we put lime sulfur on it yesterday and if you remember when we painted it on it was quite yellow in color and I said that it would mature and settle into a white so we've used this Japanese lime sulfur that we painted on and you can see now just a day later it's gone to white on all these areas of dead wood wherever we painted it so you get more contrast between the white dead wood of the tree and the brown colour of the bark there's quite a lot of dead wood on this tree so it does enhance it painting it with lime sulphur and as we said before it will slightly preserve the wood but its main use is to give it the sort of bleaching uh, the colour to give it a more aged impression this white is probably as stark as it will ever be it will fade over the next few months personally for me I prefer it when it's faded down a little bit more obviously this has been freshly and recently done but it's just one of those things with bonsai that we do not everyone's aware of it so we thought we'd do a little video just to show you it done so now we've we've trimmed this tree in an earlier video we've uh, treated it with lime sulfur and the next job on the agenda for this tree as we mentioned before will be to fully wire the branches and that will probably be done towards the end of this year so for now it's tidied up and it's all cleaned it'll go out on the bench for sale and then we can revisit it in autumn this year when i've got a bit more time to conduct uh, the wiring and the styling of it hope you've enjoyed this video please have a look back at the earlier video of this juniper and check out the back catalogue of other videos that will help you along with your bonsai collection and uh, and give you some ideas thank you very much